Welcome to How To Stats. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate the average correlation within a correlation matrix. Now, this is a great time saver, and I know in the past I've calculated a, uh, the average correlation of a correla ma correlation matrix in a very tedious way. So, let me give you an example. In this case, there are uh, 32 items associated with this uh, data set and you might want to look at the correlation matrix and one way you could do that is through reliability analysis and then put all of your variables into the uh, items box and then click on statistics and click on correlations and this is going to give you the intercorrelation matrix and this is how most people I think try to get a compact correlation matrix uh, but then you're left with this huge correlation matrix to put input into Excel or e or SPSS so you'll end up uh, double clicking on this and then uh, copying and pasting all these columns uh, into another column so that takes a long time and then calculate the average from that I really wouldn't recommend that you do that instead you can just go analyze uh, scale reliability analysis statistics and then click on uh, summaries for correlations and this is actually going to give you an average of the correlation so you get through the reliability Cronbach's alpha correlation matrix and then you get a summary item statistics table and here the uh, the average of the uh, intercorrelations is equal to 0.23 the minimum uh, is negative 0.225 maximum 0.726 and the range, so you get all the descriptive statistics, a bunch of the basic descriptive statistics associated with the correlation matrix, but I think the most valuable one is is the mean average correlation. Save you a huge amount of time and uh, going forward and, and less chances of making mistakes. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you next time.